Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Jack Sputnik here and I'm excited because my DJI Mini is here, Mini 2 is here actually. And you may ask like, didn't you do a review? It's, didn't you have already? Yes, I had and this is my original Mini 2, uh, my personal Mini 2 that just came back from official, official repair service from DJI. So you may ask what happened in the first place, did you crash it? Well, not exactly. I was just downloading card and my son was playing on my laps, you know, just doing, uh, playing with the drone and I was, you know, downloading photos, reviewing the photos and videos. And I didn't notice that he just decided to disassemble the gimbal. Basically, take it out. You can see what happened. And that wouldn't be that bad because you can put these little rubber pieces inside here back in place yourself if the tape one of the tapes that connects you know the, the connection tapes that connects gimbal with electronic system inside with motherboard inside of uh, mini 2 was disconnected so i was stuck so what could i do i said like it's on warranty so i don't want to you know like uh you know open it so I decided to go for official DJI service. So I went online, I first asked them if they can accept the repair and so on and so on. I didn't know if this will happen in like under warranty or not, I guess not. So I was like, uh, I'm wondering how much will official DJI service cost? And I have an answer. So my drone was accepted, UPS picked it up. So this was very smooth. Everything was pretty fast from the moment I, you know, uh, put serial number on and you know printed the the envelope You know, it was like one or two days I think it was in two days UPS was here and then they sent it to the Netherlands because I use I live in Europe and then after some days I think after three days from uh, From the delivery time. No, no, it was four days later. I received an email this email is here and this is you see that? that? You cannot see that. So I will read. So it's uh, service quotation and service quotation says that um, they will basically uh, remove, like replace the three in one flexible flat cable, gimbal access arm module for 29 euros and the cable for 496. And repair service fee is 50 euros. So repair service fee is actually more than the parts itself. Then the transportation 30 euro. And it all sums up to 114 euro plus VAT. So for those of you who are from States, I think you know VAT, right? It's, it's basically tax. So grand total payment is 138, um, 138 euros for that little guy. I was like, you know, 138 euros, it depends. It depends, you know, for some people it's a lot, for some people it's not that much. I thought it's it's okay, so I decided to pay, but I had this, you know, feeling in the back of my head that, you know, 138 euros for the drone that is worth like 400 euros, it's a lot. So I honestly felt a little bit ripped off because like, for example, I didn't understand why did they, you know, ex change this, you know, whole gimbal module instead of just putting new tape and that's it. And you know, maybe like the, the cost of the labor would be less and the cost of repair would be less. But however, I can say that there are some, uh, you know, good sides of it because basically it was fast, professional. Then they asked me to, you know, um, fill in the, the, the form, like, you know, with rating of their service. And I basically got this drone back around eight, nine days later so it's not that bad if you're a frequent flyer that could be a lot but you know i was focused on other projects so it was okay for me and the advantage i have because i all, of course tried to do like uh you know like this how do you call it dji care uh, but that's not possible when you if you activate a drone or you bought it like less more than 24 or 48 hours uh ago so I couldn't do that, but with original DJI repair service, I am able now to purchase a um, DJI care plan. So there are some pros, there are some cons. Um, my take out from this, DJI official service is not cheap, specifically if you don't live in Netherlands and you cannot just give them, you know, the drone personally. Uh, so 
I would probably, probably to all of, of you who fly a lot or who have kids, recommend a DJI Kerplan because if I bought it in the very beginning, I wouldn't be stuck with this 138.80 euros, which is $150, $160 more or less. So uh, this is lesson learned. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a short video, just a quick update what happens with, with, with my drone. And, uh, and let me know in the comments below, would you recommend to, do with, to go with an official service or you prefer official service, DJI service, if you feel that this price is a lot and it was dealt right, or it should be dealt a little bit differently. Okay, once again, this is Jack Sputnik and I see you guys in the next one.